He looks like he's been punching a concrete wall. Oh, yes. He fought hard. And his face. You think the average guy in the street could do that kind of damage? No, no. It needs a lot of skill and strength. Right, a boxer. I didn't say he wasn't able to do it. I said he wouldn't do it. Look, I'd like to take your word for a detective, but the prosecuting attorney's office is going to want a little more than that. Look, Fraser, I said no taste and stuff in the, in the, in the morgue. Oh, that is sick. That is, you get that? I don't get that. That's... Is that a new method? <sighs> Did you find something? Bok choy. Yeah, we found him behind a Chinese restaurant. There was garbage all over the place. You see? You see? You don't have to go tasting a dead guy's stuff to be a cop. You, we knew that already. Pyrosamide? Diuretic. Was he taking it? Maybe. Uh, can, can you test for it? I could. Well, I have to go in. Why would I do it? Be because, uh, uh, Fraser, why does There's no compelling reason. Well, never mind. We, we don't really need to know. Uh, Fraser, a word with you for a second? Look, Fraser, don't hang me out to dry like that. Like what, Ray? Don't ask if the guy was taking dye or arrest or whatever. When I ask him about doing some tests, go, oh, never mind. Nobody needs to know anyway. I'm sorry. Well, sorry doesn't cut it, Fraser. I'm a detective. The detective's got to have credibility with guys like Mort. Uh, you pull a little stunt like that and I lose face. Well, I think you have a surfeit of face, Ray. Francesca, can you get uh, Tony Miller in here, please? Steve. You got a number? Uh, he's in a phone book under Cabrini Gangsters. The gangsters are in a phone book? But they got a phone, they're in the book. Huey, can you make this call for me? It's uh, Winona Jefferson. That's uh, Levon's aunt. He lives there. See if he came home. Uh, Ray, 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 Ray. What? I need your advice on something. What? Let's say you knew someone. Maybe even a friend. Right? Hypothetically speaking, though, let's say this friend had an odor. What kind of odor? Bacon bits and fish. Are you talking about your stinky partner? <laughs> you noticed it, huh? Yeah, what's the question? Well, am I obligated to tell him? No. You're obligated to hose him down. Fraser, come on, let's go. We're off to look for Levon? No, the people who are looking for him. Ah. Dave, 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 would you mind? Okay, Fraser, we gotta be kind of polite here. Uh, well, that's right up my alley, right? Dave? No, this is uh, a special kind of polite. It's like uh, a lingo thing. Ah, I understand. They're wearing headsets, Ray. Seems kind of organized for a street gang, isn't it? Oh, this is the USA. This is, uh, you know, they got the equal opportunity. They got upward uh, uh, mobility. Uh, uh, good day, gentlemen. Yo, that's a badass outfit. He insulted the uniform. Uh, he meant good. Bad means good. Uh, he digs the uniform. Oh, you mean it's the lingo thing, sort of flip-flop? Yeah. Understood. Uh, well, yes, sir, it is bad. It is Red Surge, and it represents the Queen. Oh, the Queen? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, thank you kindly. We're here to see Duval Edwards. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. Ah, yo, I got one of those. Yo, I got it in a cereal box. And I'm thinking I'm gonna squeeze Mr. Heat in a few hours, so yo, suck. Sir, we understand that we don't have an appointment, but we were hoping that you would be able to accommodate us. Accommodate you. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> Holmes, can I have a word with you? Aye. Aye. Yo, boom, this is straight up. I mean, yeah, well, this is I'm Starsky, he's, he's uh, Hutch. In particular, this is the land. No, we showed you our colors, now, flashed our badges, service. you know? Yeah. Well, this is not going to be any trouble. We just want to talk to him for 10 minutes. Yeah, so what's it worth? Uh, let's say you're pursuing a criminal on horseback. Ah, right. and should you lose control of your weapon, you don't have to dismount, you see. You simply just scoop it up, and there, presto, you have it in your hand again. It's something yo, yo, you gentlemen yo, might want to consider. Up top, yo. Watch that, watch that. Yeah. Nice lads. Yo, he's crazy, man. This dire thingy, what is that? It's a drug that increases the rate of urine formation in the kidneys. Is that good? Well, for certain medical conditions, yes. Uh, so you think he was sick and that's what killed him? No, no, no. I'm quite certain he was beaten to death. Well, then why did you ask for the... Forget it. 
Ray, maybe you can help me with this lingo thing. Is there, by any chance, a reference book for it? No reference book. It, it, it's street, like that uh, stuff at the door. Certain words are flipped, like bad means good. What if something's bad? It's just bad. Isn't that confusing? Too a Mountie, yeah. See, fly is good. That's the bomb. It's great. Oh, I see. So I could say, for instance, uh, Ray, my very good friend, you are a flying bomb. No, nah, that doesn't work. Uh, example. Holmes better keep it real, because we're just up for the 411. You, we don't want him to go the whole nine yards and pull his gat and bang, bang, put a cap in his, you know? Because we'd be down on a 187. I see, and a, a 187 is dead. Dead? Ah. Yes. I usually don't allow dog. Oh, well, actually, he's half wolf. That's better. Uh, the wolf's cool. Uh, a couple of your guys tried to take our heads off last night. My guys? Well, they were wearing uh, Rolling 22 colors. You know, all the wrong people seem to be getting those jackets. Uh, Jamal was hanging with them. Oh, so this is about Jamal getting killed. No, this is about Levon Jefferson not getting killed. You gotta understand, the guys take things like this kind of hard. You know? Jamal had a lot of friends in 22. I mean, he's heading up our youth program. Youth program, that's commendable. Why don't we try to give a little something back to the community? Right, in return for all the drug money you take out of it. The thing is, uh, Levon did not kill Jamal. Sure, and he had nothing to do with Durant going to the hospital. What, all we want you to do is, is talk to your guys and get them to chill. You yeah, understand, we got 28,000 members, I mean... Some days I only get to talk to all of them. 28,000? That, that's the population of Moose Jaw. Canadian. Yes, how did you know? Lucky guess. Ah. They're thinking about branching out up there. Really? You know, I'm not sure my government would look too favorably upon that. See, now, that's the problem with you Canadians with this thing called free trade. I mean, you guys want access to our markets and still try to protect your own. You know, I'm not so sure it's really a question of trade as much as it is a moral issue. I mean, the fact that you're involved in criminal activity. Selling drugs, for instance. Oddly, that's something we frown upon north of the 49th parallel. Uh, there's always some excuse. Uh, did you see Jamal last night? And what if I did? Uh, when? Around 10.30, maybe a little after. After we encounter him. Could be helpful. How much time did you spend with him? Not long. I mean, we had some business to go. Did he have to say where he was going after? To the gym to get some stuff out of his brother's lock. One of yours? Yep. 